What's going on guys? This is Sam and today Apple released iOS 11.4 beta 5 to developers. It was a huge update at least here on the iPhone 10, 2.2 gigabytes, which is absolutely massive for an update like this. Now that led me to believe that this could be the golden master version, but after checking in settings, the version number still I believe has a letter after it. So that means that this is probably not the golden master version, but iOS 11.4 beta 6, or if we see a beta 7, uh, it's probably coming up very soon, probably next week or the week after. And one of those will likely be the new Golden Master version, which means that this should be coming out for everyone very shortly. Since iOS 11.4 has been in testing for a few weeks now, there are four big features coming when it launches. First up is a new product red wallpaper for iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus that's only available on iPhone 8 devices. So if you want to download it for the iPhone 10, which it looks great on, or any other device, you can head over to my website, check out the link down below in the description. We also have ClassKit, which is a new framework for developers that allows them to integrate their third-party applications with a new first-party application from Apple known as Schoolwork. And then you also get two features announced at WWDC 2017 alongside iOS 11 beta 1 that just haven't made it into iOS 11 just yet. First up is AirPlay 2. You can play the same song on all your AirPlay 2 enabled speakers or a different song on every speaker in every room of your home. It's going to be a really cool feature. And finally, messages in iCloud. It allows you to sync your iMessages and normal text messages across your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Mac, and pretty much every other Apple device that you own, which has also been very highly anticipated and something that Apple has just pushed off and pushed off because apparently the feature just hasn't been ready yet. After looking around iOS 11.4 beta 5, I haven't found anything specifically new. I ran a Geekbench test as always, and my scores were actually a little bit lower than last time. On beta 4, I got 4257 for the single core score and 10,451 for the multi-core score. Uh, it's about 180 points, I think 179 points lower exactly for the multi-core in this beta, and the single core score was uh, also about 30-ish, 40-ish points lower lower. So the scores went down, which is disappointing. My performance on last beta was really great. I talked about that in the last update video. So I'm hoping it does go back up to the 104 ish range just because that performance is really good. 10,200 or 10,300 ish isn't bad. It just definitely could be a little bit better. I want to give you a quick update on battery life as well. After installing beta four last week, it's been really good. Obviously since installing beta five just around an hour ago, I can't tell you how beta five's battery life is. I have absolutely no idea because I've only been using the firmware for about an hour, but when beta 6 comes out, probably next week or the week after, uh, I'll tell you how the battery life is in beta 5. Beta 4, beta 3, beta 2, and the first beta for iOS 11.4 have all had really great battery life, and I have a feeling that trend will continue with betas in the future. And the final public release version that should be dropping sometime, I'd say, around WWDC on June 4th in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, that's all I've got for you on iOS 11.4. Once again, if you want to download the wallpaper here, you can do so by checking out the link down down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, if you're excited for iOS 11.4, make sure to drop a like and hit subscribe if you want to see more iOS update videos like this in the future. If you want to help support the channel, as always, head over to shop.iupdateos.com. You can use code MAY for 5% off your order all month. For now, I've been Sam. I hope you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.